Hello everyone, my name is Sam. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the scratch disable error when opening Photoshop. Before we get started, please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button to get my future uploads. It's free. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. Have you ever encountered an error when running Photoshop or opening a PSD file and you got an error message like this? It says, could not complete your request because the scratch disks are full. The reason why Photoshop gets the scratch disk full error is because there's no enough draft space available on your computer for Photoshop to work with. As you can see, my draft C space is almost exhausted. This condition makes my computer cannot store Photoshop's temporary files. However, we can fix such an error by simply deleting unnecessary files from draft C. But beware, you don't wanna delete the wrong files from draft C. Alright. This time I'm going to show you how to delete unnecessary files from my computer without hassle. So, let's start by clicking the search icon and open run. Type time into the search box and click OK. If you get a message as this, just click continue. These are temporary files, so I'm going to delete this all by pressing Ctrl A and then right click and select delete. Click yes. If you get this warning, tick this checkbox and click skip. Next, go to the source and select run. Type percent time percent into the search box. Press Ctrl A to highlight all the files. Right click and select delete. Again, if you see this warning, make sure the do this for all current items checkbox is tick and click skip. Skip again. Then open the search dialog box again, this time search for disk cleanup, and run it. Then at the drive dropdown, select drive C, and click OK. At this dialog box, check all options except download. Then click the cleanup system files button, click OK, and wait for the process to finish. Then select all options again except download. Click delete, and wait for the process to finish. Now let's try to run the PSD file again, to find out whether it works or not. Still doesn't work yet, but no worry, I need to delete some large unnecessary files. Before deleting some other unnecessary files, let's make more space for Photoshop to store temporary files by going to Edit, Preferences, Select Scratch Disks, and check all drives under the drive list and click OK. Now I'm going to remove some other unnecessary large files from drive C, which usually are Premiere Pro charge files because I oftentimes edit videos using Premiere Pro. So to delete them, run the Premiere Pro, close the start box, go to Edit, Preferences, select Media Charge, and click Delete Unused. Wait for the process to finish and click OK. Close the Premiere Pro and now let's try to run the PSD file. That's it, the problem now got fixed. That's all for this tutorial, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more future uploads and see you.